Hello again. So we're continuing our discussion, our introduction to trigonometry by using right triangles. And in uh, the previous video, we defined what the six trigonometric functions were for this particular right triangle. We're looking at this unknown angle, theta, and we defined our six trig functions, sine being the opposite, three is the opposite side, over the hypotenuse, and cosecant is the reciprocal of that, hypotenuse over opposite, cosine being the adjacent, the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and secant being the reciprocal of that, hypotenuse over adjacent, and tangent, which is opposite over adjacent, 3 over 4, and cotangent, which is the reciprocal of that, adjacent over opposite. One of the very, very misleading things, and one thing you'll have to watch out for, is that even though cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, you can't think, and don't, don't get um, uh, lured into this, that co means reciprocal, because it certainly doesn't, if you think about it and look at it. Cosine is not the reciprocal of sine. Cosecant is not the reciprocal of secant. So co doesn't mean that. So what does co mean? Well, let's talk about what co means. I'm going to go ahead and rename. Um, actually, let me not rename it. Let me just use a different Greek letter. Let's use beta, another Greek letter. Okay? Now let's define for beta what our six trig functions are. Now I'm going to do this in blue just so we're clear. So for beta, my opposite side is now 4. My adjacent side is 3. And the hypotenuse is still 5. So the positions of my opposite and adjacent sides have switched places. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. Let me... I need to rewrite these. So for angle theta, we had 3 over 5 with sine. Cosine was 4 over 5. Tan was 4 over 3. Cotan, oops, I'm sorry. Tangent was not 4 over 3. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. This was 3 over 4. Cotan is 4 over 3. There we go. We have secant, which we said was 5 over 4, and cosecant, which was 4 over 5. Oh, I'm just not paying any attention, am I? Cosecant was 5 over 3. Okay? So now let's take a look at, at angle beta instead. So the sine of angle beta is the opposite side, which is 4, over the hypotenuse, which is 5. The cosine of angle beta is going to be the length of the adjacent side, which is 3, over the hypotenuse, which is 5. The tangent of angle beta is the opposite, which is 4, over 3, which is the adjacent side. And my cotan of beta is the reciprocal of tangent, 3 over 4, okay, which is um, adjacent over opposite. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, uh, so that's 5 over 3 which is the length of the hypotenuse over the adjacent side, and cosecant, which is the reciprocal of sine, is going to be hypotenuse over opposite, or 5 over 4. Well, when you line them up like this and you take a close look at these, you'll see something really important happening here, and that's this. You will notice that the sine of theta equals the cosine 
of beta. And the cosine of theta is the same as the sine of beta. Similarly, the tangent of theta equals the cotangent of beta, and the cotangent of theta equals the tangent of beta. And then finally, the secant of theta, whoops, secant of theta equals the cosecant of beta, and the cosecant of theta equals the secant of beta. Well, that was a tongue twister. Anyway, here's what's important about this then. What is the relationship between theta and beta? I hope you can see that they are the two acute angles in this right triangle. And you should remember, I hope, that the relationship between the two acute angles in a right triangle is that they're complementary to each other. In other words, they add up to 90 degrees. So here's the fancy way of saying it. Fancy way of saying it is that the co-functions of complementary, that's an M, angles are equal. Co-functions meaning sine is the co-function for cosine. Tan is the co-function of cotangent. Secant is the co-function of cosecant. Sine, cosine. Tan, cotan. Secant, cosecant. These are co-functions of each other. And you will notice that the, the, the values for these co-functions are equal when you're talking about the two acute angles in a right triangle, the complementary angles. So the co in front of each of these uh, three trig functions don't refer to reciprocals. They do for tan and cotan, but the more important thing is that the co indicates that that has an equal value as its co-function, the one without the co in front of it, for the complementary angle. And you can get tricky problems. Well, they're not that tricky, but if I said the sine of, um, let's say, 50 degrees, and I ask you to tell me what other trig function is that equal to. Well, the complementary angle would be 40 degrees, wouldn't it? And the co-function for sine is cosine. So the sine of 50 degrees would have to be equal to the cosine of 40. The co-function of the co-function of the complementary angle is equal. Let's do one more. Um, why don't you do this one? The secant of 20 degrees equals what other trig function? Give you a second. If you need to stop the video for a second and figure it out, go ahead. The complementary angle for 20 degrees, it adds up to 90, is 70. And the co-function for secant is cosecant. So this is a very, very important relationship. We will use it later on. Um, the co-functions of complementary angles are equal. Thanks.